good evening to you. How are you doing? First of all, a special shout out to all the Kibera residents. I know today Kibera decides who's going to be your next MP. I know the results will be streaming in any time from now. And we wish you guys all the best and we hope you maintain peace right all right welcome to entertainment thursday now this is not anything serious it's all about entertainment news we're going to be talking trending topics what's been happening who married who who divorced who all that juice we got the juice and we got the sauce and to help me do this i have a panelist right here i call them my co-hosts let's meet them starting on my far right the italian queen herself what's up What's up, yo? <laughs> it's been uh, a minute. Yeah, I've been away, but I'm back. Thank you so much for tuning in always. Karibu sana for another edition. Hey, let's have fun together. All right. Yeah. And after Junil, we have our guest on the panel for the very first time. Can you introduce yourself? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nito Deno. Hey. Nito Nyamzi. Okay. Yeah. Yay. Deno, what do you want to Nyamzi. Nyamzi. Yeah. Your social media? Uh, Nyamzi. Nyamzi. Yeah. All right. And then after that, we have the Mwangis. Who's excited because we have another Deno on set, apparently? It's yes. a Deno thing, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I go by the name Dennis Bombayna. Unaza nita the Mwangis, and mm. it's been real. It's been a good week. Tujibam, mm. Leoni Thursday, Watu mm -hmm. And let's see how it goes. All right. And then we have a very on controversial you know, you know. superstar right here. What's you know, up? It's all about good vibes. Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk a lot. I'm scared official everywhere. You know, let's do this, guys. Let's do okay. this. Okay. But the good album you're going to come win. Next. No, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. It's a surprise. It's a surprise. <laughs> all right. Like I said, find out the stories we prepared for you this evening. Now, after many release date shifts, Kanye West has finally released his ninth studio album titled Jesus is King. A week after its release, Billboard announced that Kanye, Kanye West's ninth album, Jesus is King, debuted at number one on top 200 chart. Not only is, the, is uh, this rather West's ninth consecutive Billboard topping album, but this also makes him one of the only artists to have nine consecutive number one albums as well. Although many people were happy with the gospel album, some were disappointed since they were being sold tickets to attend Kanye's Sunday service all right so finally we've been waiting for this album like forever Kanye West got saved he decided to do a gospel album Jesus is King so we know when the album came out guys thought it's going to flop because the gospel guys are what were hip-hop ah. and then guess what number one yes. and guys are buying the album guys are streaming the album like everybody is loving the album so far what are your thoughts where comes Sunny as I, as I said last time when we talked about this topic, eh? mm -hmm. the fact that he's using this power and this platform to just like spread the gospel right. is a really, really big, uh, big, big add to the gospel ministry and everything. So I'm really happy that he's doing really, really good. I don't know why people expected a God's album to f like, why? Like it doesn't make sense, yeah? <laughs> but uh, I'm happy for that. Mm -hmm. I don't want to put so much. I just want people to go and listen because I've listened to the album. Right. It's really dope. People should go and actually listen to it. Okay. Yes. Mongies, is it fair, the fact that he is actually, not him, but I think church officials and him also. I think there were so many people like uh, who wanted to attend the church after the album came out. Now, there was a listening party in church. So most people just wanted to go and listen for free. So, what do we can do with Is it right? Charging is not right. Because <laughs> the gospel is not charged. Yeah. Now, I like the Bible is free. Simple by by The Bible is actually <laughs> free. It depends on how you access it. Mm. Depends on where you are. Mm. Now, as I was saying, I think nearly said make it to before. I don't really feel the full vibe as mm. much. Yeah. And now everything is starting to show up. Right. Everything is starting to show up. He started by doing whatever he was doing at Yo, I'm doing gospel, <laughs> you know? Now, it was all about for the al album to top the charts. Mm. It's gotten where it wants. I'll not be shocked two months later from now, Niskia, oh, it happened, Nika backslide, oh, Nini. I'll not be shocked, Nasi Mumbai backslide. But I don't, I don't really trust his motive oh. behind this. It was it was money game. Vile tunazita ga kiki. Hizi ni kiki zake amezipanga kiki vizuri. Amepanga kiki vizuri hadi tunaamini ameokoka. Hakuna atakoka. Dennis, what are your thoughts? Mimi na za big up kwanza juu ni stunt ya nguvu sana. Yeah. Stunt. Yes. Juu sahi ya ko trending juu vile ame switch. Yeah. 
So you, you are happy with what he's doing right now? He is also see definitely let me put up followers wengi. Yeah. Alafu So kwa ko bado ni kiki when I dey know na agree. Eh, kabisa. Oh, okay, it's not that okay. no thing hapa lakini yeah. ni kiki. All right. It's a very strong stand. Who said who said who said you have to deceive if you just do a gospel album? All right. We're not going to talk about that right now. Well, well. This is a whole good. other conversation. <laughs> Junior, <laughs> Junior, yeah, she has her own mic. Yeah, yeah. So, well, I tend to disagree with the Mwangis. Mm -hmm. I believe uh, salvation comes and salvation comes fully. The joy of the Lord cannot be compared to anything outside there. So people might talk at the end of the day. I think Kanye is happy. And uh, if you can observe, maybe, correct me if I'm wrong, but God is a judge. God looks at the heart. But exactly. he, he seems a bit genuine, considering it is coming from including his family. Like, I'm a change. You know, mm. no more wearing, I don't know, makeup. Makeup. Yeah, actually, Kim said she's going to change the way she's dressed. Yes. Uh, and even uh, though you know really, there's something really. about the Kardashians. <laughs> okay. We talked about that last week. No, that's the kid. <laughs> yeah, so I tend to believe it's genuine. And I'm happy that uh, through that album, if the motive is to touch, if one soul will be brought to Christ through that, that album, nice. that's enough. Yes. That's enough. That is enough. All right. Yes. You guys can keep talking to us. The hashtag is White Fepo Updates at White Fepo Channel at Philin Jean as well. Let us know your opinion. And if time allows it, we might just read some of your comments, right? Now let's go to the next story. Now the Catholic Church is investigating why two nuns who took a vow of chastity yet returned to Italy pregnant after a mission trip, uh, according to <laughs> reports. Now the two women who belonged to different orders in Sicily had bought travel to Africa, Italian outlet ANCSA rather reported. Salvatore Riotta, mayor of uh, Mileto Rosmarino, told reporters, and I quote, There is regret for what happened. Our community of 1,200 inhabitants is baffled by the way some have treated the news, not as secretly as it should have been. All right, MCK, I'm going to start with this because it's also wow. about the church. So, yes. the nuns. They came from Italy, they came to Africa, they are missionaries to, spell, <laughs> to spread the gospel. Yeah. But they are pregnant. Well, I think so, like, uh, actually one of them, she didn't know she was pregnant. They got to the hospital and they said, oh, you're pregnant. You're and then the other one also, it happens. What happened? <laughs> well, you're in Africa, what happened? So they say they're going to... I think there's just this satanic wave that is running in Africa. And if you realize in Kenya, even your friends, even your friends, just, 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 another two people are just getting pregnant everywhere. You know, but for the church, eh, I think it's, 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 it's actually a big eye-opener because I remember when I was in high school because me and the are Catholic, eh? mm -hmm. I think the Catholic needs to start being very, very strict with the with the with the people they let in to the fraternity and everything, yeah. Because the father of the of the church that I used to go to mm. impregnated two actually two sisters and then ran away with money. So it goes to show that this kunawatuo may relax money. The disciplinary, the disciplinary, uh, the people who are in, in charge of disciplinary and a follow up on these people on this minister because they're humans. Yeah. You know, so if you don't really um, follow up on them, you know, uh, if their spiritual fathers and mothers don't follow up on them and help them to keep on regaining their faith, mm -hmm. they might backslide. These things do happen. Yeah. So what we do need right now as ministers, as Christians, is to pray for each other more and pray for these people who have been put there to actually help us, you know, because they're also humans. Right. Yes. Mangis, you tend to disagree with them, CK. You want to make pinga vikali sana. It's not an African problem. That's what you said. It's not a problem in Africa. It's mm -hmm. a problem with the church. <laughs> Why is that? How is that? Hypocrisy. Right. It's yes. everywhere. Mm -hmm. Everywhere. And you want to, okay, I'm sorry to say, but I'm talking to my father and I know I'm calling her. Like, you know, I'm going to throw your hands in the air. But what do you know? It's, mm -hmm. it's not something you, you should really know that going to church does not uh, mean that you are as, 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 as a saint or something. Right. Going to church, being a believer, how you believe and how you relate to God is what matters. Mm -hmm. So as I become Africa, you know, it could have happened in Asia or something. Yeah. Stop saying Africa. Mm -hmm. 
The problem so is them. Right. The problem is them. Kwanza mmoja ati anasema ati yako anajua. Really? Yeah, that's exactly. Huko unajua. Huko unajua. Brenda anaza kuwajua. Kwa kani kwa ni. Actually when the story broke, people thought they were like white women, but they are African women who visited their native countries. Like you're born in Kenya, went to Italy. Alafu ukarudi kwenu lakini sasa umerudi ka nani? All right, we're going to take Dengis's comments. Mimi nitasema hivi. History ya church ni personal sana. Mm. Ju mimi ni witness wa say wako kombe la church lakini sheria wanapiga. Sheria yeah. ngori. Mabishto yeah. wangu msako president wa lakini sheria wanapiga. Yeah. Ngori. So gospel artist kila MCK. Yeah. Are you are you one of them? No, let me let me just put something here. <laughs> you are talking you are talking the gospel. Eh? Uh, I'm not advocating for anything. But if it doesn't shake your faith yeah. God is the judge. All right. Aye. Janil, do you agree with them? <laughs> what do you have to say about the nuns? Well, I agree with the Mwangis. Mm -hmm. uh, there is hypocrisy in the church. Right. The problem is the church. And uh, the reason as to why non-Christians out there, or people of other faiths, or people who just don't believe in God or anything, mm -hmm. mock the church, is right. because they observe. Today, I'm in church. I'm praising. I'm worshiping. Tomorrow, I'm in the club. Not saying clubbing is wrong. The other day, I don't know you committed what to who. You know, some simple sins which are avoidable right. and which are definitely in the law wrong. So, yes, there's a problem. I don't blame the nuns, but it's not anything to do with Africa. She mm -hmm. yeah. everywhere, and especially the Catholic Church, this is not the first time you find homosexual fathers. There's right. a problem. There really is a yeah, problem. Well, that should we, be we've had those with. cases yeah. where they take advantage of really young kids, yes. older boys. And you can also serve God mm -hmm. in marriage, right. not necessarily as a nun you keep yourself pure. Paul said in the Bible, if you're not able to sort of like quench your thirst, thirst eh, get married and serve God in that capacity. But if you're willing to go into church, you commit kabisa. But we are, we, we, yeah. 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 So are don't clever. be a nun and uh, you're doing other things. Yeah, only you have to talk to her. Thank you. If you come out, you only have a wizard, you just get married. Come on, how come? That's really interesting, guys. We'd love to hear your opinion. What do you have to say about that? The hashtag is White Fefo Updates at Feeling Gin and, of course, at White Fefo Channel as well. But right about now, we're going to take a very short breather and we're coming right back. Stay with us. Y254. Imagine. Imagine. Right, thank you so much for staying with us. We appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for being here. And we're gonna go right ahead and move on to our next story. And if you're just joining us, this is Entertainment Thursday right here on White Purple TV. Now Tanzanian songstress Rosary is in trouble with the government over her controversial song called Vitamin U, which she featured Kenyan artist Timmy Tidat. The country's music and arts board Basata says Rosa beha Rosary rather behaved inappropriately in vitamin use music video painting the country in bad light in the said video which was uploaded on youtube last week but later deleted rosary is seen naked in a bathtub with timmy who is said to be her boyfriend rosa was summoned by basata office uh, was summoned to basata offices and later released yesterday to allow basata to investigate the matter right so i'm sure all of you have seen the video vitamin u there already okay now the video is not available but it was already it's already out there so yeah it was already it's it's it, it was pulled down and then they i think they edited now there is another version of the song what you as a lady what is going on okay first of all i have a problem with us ladies because you'll never see a man, you know, my to pigaji, my lafa to wala vest, a man to a vest, according in shorts and stuff. But ladies, what? So Rosalie on any teamy, piaga vua le. Lakini ukishika na nati. All right. So, <laughs> all right, all right, Janelle, I'm gonna start with you. Where I come, my lady, tete a girl child. What happened? <laughs> I'm in the extremes, but now. <laughs> I think Maju has just your point. Okay, for them, you know. I don't know Maju has just got your point. Yeah, yeah. You know, for them, their culture allows them to wear short dresses. Yeah. So even posing for posing in bikinis in videos is mm -hmm. not a big deal. But when it comes to Africa, we are a bit conservative. Right. So the moment you go over the edge, 
na unatoto na team yuko eh <laughs> tuende tuende na rien you know <laughs> eh manze ni nayo video okay hey msichana please madam to jeshimu eh, men will still love us even if we when we dress up actually yeah. you know they'll give you respect as much as there's a difference between attention girls out there this is for you there's a difference between attention and respect strive to get respect it lasts longer yeah hey. that's enough okay. all right we were not ready <laughs> but <laughs> thank you so much then now yes yes will you know video no no video what are you saying? Okay, Timmy, ni Timmy. And then it did that. And the other thing, girls, the internet doesn't forget. Yes. And that video will never go away. Like, ever. All right, then I'll carry on. So, kuna mtu alikuja nea idea. Na Rosary alikuwa kubali ama kataa. So, sijini nini lifanya kubali ama kataa nini ama ya kukataa. Kiki. I remember video after five million, maybe yeah. in, in, in two days. So, mm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like six he, days. Like six days. Yeah, I think so. Six days. He short of words. He's like. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mimi na jonga team ana ana anapenda ana nini nini kutoa ngo lakini siku adhani as a fake extent. Yeah. But anyway, pia si walikuwa nataka wapate Yeah. views. Eh? Kiki, yeah. yeah. No yo. Yeah. And they did that. Mwangiz. Mimi <coughs> history yote mimi si laumu at team. Mm -hmm. Team is is a victim huh? in this one. Huh? Yes. How is he He's a victim? a victim in this one? He's a legend. I understand your boy child and you always try to He's a legend boy child, to be the boyfriend, right? Yes. Right? Yeah. Yes. Now He's here comes the... Rosa. Mm -hmm. Then, you know you have to prove to me that I'm yours, right? And we have to do this on screen. So we're doing this. So according to you that that was Rosary's idea. Idea. But then wow. Then wow. 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 But Wow. is Kenyan, but is in, like, as a kid, Mutu are supposed to have done something. Wow. 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 Right. So kutafuta Rosary vile wana mtafuta waende kumwe shida tu yangu nao ni kitu moja unasikia vile wamemwambia mm. ati wame release wakafanya investigation ya nini yenyewe wana investigate nini, nini? everything is there yeah. ulikembo ukakembeka ni nini <laughs> tuno, tunoliza na nini honestly <laughs> okay oh my yes yes all right sour so, i'm scared but i think they got what they wanted mm -hmm. i'm sure wakifanya hiyo video walikuwa wanajua video ita na mbali but it's a to own guess. We are talking about them right now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. My my only advice will be to Rosary. Odeman Yeah. And she was a beast. When exactly. Exactly. She's really good. Yeah. East Africa take over. Yeah. I look at the and and the moment you start associating with yourself, now I do on your attack Siku ba, tini ya tuwaka song, kele ya wiki mwote, oto meisa au. Rosarina za tuwa song, watu nasikisa buzz after buzz, like she's bad, yeah? Advice to her, if she's gonna see this, eh? Please, your brand is bigger than that, guys. Don't, ara chana na kama au. Do with other people, but you're better than that. Yes, come here, alright. Oh, alright. But don't let her come here. I don't even I don't even think they're dating. It's just I don't think so. Yeah. All right. Uh, share your comments with us at White Pepper Channel, at Feeling Zone, and the hashtag as always White Pepper Updates. Now let's go to the next story. Now a Michael Jackson lookalike who was who has a super resemblance to the lead singer has been urged to get a DNA test to prove it isn't Michael. Now according to a bizarre conspiracy theory, Michael mm -hmm. faked his own death and has been working an as an impersonator to enjoy his space. Barcelona born Sergio has amassed a huge following online thanks to his MJ videos and perform and he performs his songs at gigs around the world. He has the same curly black hair and striking features that his idol had. In a viral video making rounds on social media, he says, Hello to all Michael Jackson fans. Come and watch me perform at Hollywood Pattaya on December 23rd. I love you guys and see you there. I'm Sergio Cortez. See you soon. All right, so this is the thing. This is Guy. 
Actually, there's a you guys watched a Michael Jackson movie. Mm -hmm. After Michael died, you saw that guy was a really like Michael him, Jackson. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think that uh, that should be the same guy. He's the he's, same guy, but yeah, we have Luca likes. His yeah. name is Sergio Cortez. So the fans are just like so amused. They're like, you gotta do a DNA test. There's no way. I saw a documentary where he was talking uh, some time back and he said that even before Michael died, we, they used to go to events together. Michael like a choker, I'll go and watch up and take over. Yeah, because yeah. he would perform like now you have to Michael like a backstage, I'm a melala, I'm a tata kuda, and then you'll be there, perform. I love to see he knows all his songs, all his moves, yeah. and I just dance Zote, and he looks exactly like him. So he used to do that when mm. Michael was alive. But what about Papaya? Do a DNA test. Do you mm. think it's really him? No. Or that is Michael? Okay, no. I thought there's Even a conspiracy theory actually, that some, some, Michael Jackson some, and Papaya Kufa and Milana are two pieces. Some other presidents in other countries they have protégés. Yeah, yeah. People yeah. who actually look like them. Yeah. Those things happen. Yeah. If this guy was a protege of him, of course. Mm -hmm. But it's not him, like come on, guy. It's not Come on. I don't think I don't think it's him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's doing good for the guy. Yeah. The guy is getting shows, he's getting recognition right and uh, mm -hmm. right now, other than uh, you know. So let him just use it to, to his advantage. Right. Yes. You should take that. Yes. Umana the only same lines, Maze Mwangis. You have anyone like me, if I see someone like that, I'll be very worried. Because if you're not trees, who should end up boss them all you are going to wear? I see somebody who looks like me, by the way. <laughs> On a newspaper, I swear. <laughs> In a newspaper, <laughs> and he's called yeah. Bran Yakundi like me, but the third name was different. Exactly. I swear, yeah, exactly. that guy would look like me. Everybody was like, This guy, this guy, I don't know me, I've not been in the papers for any new flight, I've not released a song or anything. But there's a guy called Mogaka, he looks like you. I had to ask my dad, by the way. All right, monkeys, these things happen. Yeah. No, no. I, I tend to believe the the guys who are saying he should take the DNA mm -hmm. to just confirm to everyone. You 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 are team DNA. What was doubting Thomas? No, no, no it's, 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 not, it's not about doubting Thomas. Mm -hmm. This guy is shining and basking in someone else's uh, glory. Right. Really gone, no, no, he's, he's already he's shining yeah, with yeah. his glory, which Don't is not something no. that should be happening. No, but here's the thing. When he was they alive, used to they were used to work together. They used to work together. Then, uh, so it's actually illegal to do mm -hmm. that in the first place. How? Why? How is that? Not illegal? working together. But he never working, said he was Michael. He but just he's said, working as Michael. There are those people who, who never got over Michael's death, and they're like, "Come yeah. see me perform yeah, if you are yeah, another yeah. version of Michael." Yeah. But but legally looking at it, is he doing Michael a favor or messing up him? If the family hasn't complained, the yeah. music is But you see, there's always the, the fact that Michael's music right now, tonight's Kizakati BT. What I get? I don't want to wake up and hear there's a concert of a guy who's performing Michael's songs. Really? Yeah, he does that no, all the no, time. No, it's, it's not even fair to Michael in the first place. All right, Sawa. He is very bitter about that. We're going to go to <laughs> He's a fan. All right, Sawa. So, Umsa um, Mekwanga, too, since Michael Jackson and Kufa Nini, says he's not okay. No, no, he's been there. There's a Michael Jackson movie, and he even did the movie. Okay, and means... if you look at the movie, you wouldn't even know the difference. Yeah. He's like, ex he's exactly Michael Jackson. He's everything. Now, when Michael was alive, I, I, I like I said, I saw a documentary where he said they used to work together. Mm -hmm. When Michael was tired, the end and end shows, and people will never know it's not Michael. Like in Umsana Fanana Nainje. So, so me yeah. think Kumalize curiosity or the DNA. Your DNA. Excuse me, just come in the story of my twins, Silikuja Kenya, home to Anafanana Mingine. I think to Amalize story or DNA. DNA. Yeah. All right, Janil, do you agree? Yes, it's Kuliwe. If that is what will give people peace out there, well, plus what are you under do? So am I called Na Mekufa? You put that inside D. So long as family complain, let the guy make his money. You know. All right. So now, yeah. Boy, we're going to go to our next story now. But a boy, aka African Giant, had an event which was held at ASSE Arena Wembley down. Wembley rather in London which was reportedly very successful. Bana is currently on an African giant tour and has already visited several cities in the US and across Europe. The SSC Arena Wembley is a 12 12,500 capacity arena a clo and uh, it's actually very close to Wembley Stadium, London and Banner Boy reportedly sold it out. As the event went on, Banner Boy was joined by his Nigerian rivals Wizkid and Davido on stage.
So, you guys, I don't know if you've seen the video of the performance. Okay, yeah. we don't have it here, but if you haven't, make sure you go see how he entered the stage. I talk about Domoya, like this, this key giant, like this thing. So, he just opened up and then he, Nikai Kwe Memez, and then he just like, what? Y'all have to go check that out. It was amazing. What do you think about this guy? When they were Jew, you care, he's in London and he sold out an event. And the capacity of that place where he was, the arena, is 12,500. Janelle, what are your thoughts? I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. I'm so proud on the low, low. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love Banner Boy. Mm -hmm. And I'm proud where Africa is going. Mm -hmm. Kenyans. <laughs> Please, Kenyan artists, can you are you seeing what Banner Boy is doing? Mm -hmm. He's staying true to his roots. Hatwen at the Jewish Kaila status here. Say Yenika Aiko Nigeria. Say at Amefka International Level. Right. So he's not twanging, he's not changing anything about him. He's mm -hmm. just being real. So that's good to know. And uh, maybe what I can ask Steph London if you're watching me. What did you see in the guy? <laughs> hey, okay. So <laughs> my name. Oh, uh, yeah, no. oh, so right. what, what what do you think as oh, Kenyans? I, okay, just one minute, <laughs> one me, one meeting, rather. Daniel, mm -hmm. not monkeys. They have a day. <laughs> what do you think we are doing wrong as Kenyan artists and uh, our Kenyan musicians? Mbona artists wetu hakuna mwenye mfikao wa level. Okay, na sikanga local artists wa Kenya wana wanaenda show. Sijui mm. UK uh, US some some tours wanafanyanga. But hizo tunaziona kwa Instagram ya aziko hata. <laughs> okay, true, the true. So, mimi ni fan wow. bana boys katai but ni kweli. <laughs> so sisi tuna tumtu ameka Instagram sijui nini ana promote nini tu atua fulani lakini hata atuoni vitu zikitrend ama ni eh so bana was trending everywhere yeah so i think manze sijui wa Kenya local artists of Kenya sijui we need to we need to do something okay mwangi <laughs> when you think the problem is cause me think maybe it's the fans that don't support their their their, their guys maybe mtu anaika event na ni sultan au tu watu wa waendi na si 12000 study quality I quality so is it the, is it the, is it the artists or is it the fans or we don't love our artists enough the problem is the artists Kuna kitu tunasema nga, uh, um, um, being an actor, there's something we say called usani na msani. Mm -hmm. Kuna msani, an artist, that's an, an, an artist. But ukikubali usani kuingie, in such a way that, ujafika hata level ya a thousand followers Instagram, but ushaanza kuturingia huku wadi wezi kuja show. Yeah. Usha itua show, ushaanza kuchelewa, yeah. ushaanza nini. You know, like you won't even get to that level, simply because you've been called to one radio station or one TV station. Usha right. feature, ushaanza kutuonesha vile nimepigo oh, picha sijuna nani nimefika. Mm -hmm. And you actually have not made it. Mm -hmm. Stay humble. Right. Bite the humble pie, kubali. And you know, the one thing I know, mm -hmm. if you make it in the Kenyan market, right. Oh, oh, right. yes. Hakuna place where he make. Yeah. Look at, you know, even Barnaboy himself, mm. this country, he shall be Yeah. But. No, but the, the first time he came here, he had a very hard time. Well, he called Shana or Kenya, yes. but then he came back the second time and guys... And he did it. Ukikubalika yeah. hapo, but ina kuganika hapo, he's maker, he's a good one. Right. Right. Ukikubalika hapo. Nuala Jamaica and upanga line kukamu. Upanga line hapo kukamu, ukikubalika huku. Woko saa, by the way. This market is very tough. Right. MCK. Well, okay, first of all, I heard like Kenyan artists are just famous, but mm -hmm. I want a kakitu. Is that true? What's up, you Kenyan? Me not know. Me not know. So, Fiji, I'm going to give you a name. I'm going to give you a name. I'm going to give Mm -hmm. I don't pay rent. I don't. Do, I have many people do anyway. All right. So but right. the point is, eh, mm -hmm. I think it's me personally as a sema. It's time. When I talk about time, music here, Kenyan, we're going to run Eastern Central Africa. Yes. We are the ones who are winning uh, Sound City, MTV, Kina Nameless was in MTV. So it's it's timing. Kuna time Kenya ni kuna waka sign it is ready na waka. Kuna get. Ah no na shindezo maawa. Kuna get. Secondly, there is a time to lipo reserve vibe ya mziki yetu genge. But sign as a kuru. It's coming back. Kuna get. Alright. Genge to ni kiza kuskuzu. Because what can I say? Wana perform ya. Wana perform ya. Wana Nigeria. What you must understand is Nigerians are very mean. Yeah. Ask any wing, they yeah. can sell out a show anywhere. And you know, uh, Banboy actually did an album in his own native language and it's out here. Sit in Aimba, Ulua, Ulua, you don't even know what you're saying. So to support, you, to support what we do, to support Gengeton, it's, it's actually a very good vibe. But no, I'm mature. 
Alright, so I still support our people. <laughs> All right. I don't know, we are doing well, Because of time, we're going to go to our last story. And this, I'm not even going to read, I'm just going to mention. Now, Alex Mokidewu, he's a presenter, we all know who he is. And he said his wife knows his password, he knows his wife's password, and he's advising married people to share passwords. MCK, okay, I'm going to start with you. Just uh, comment swoopy with your social media handles. Yes, okay, why not? I don't know your password, I don't know your password, I don't know your password, I don't know your Okay, sour. That's right, sour. Simple. Your social media? MCK official, kila mali, that about L. All right. Mwange. Simple as that, that's a nini. But no, his, his, his jaw dropped. Tuna adam domi wa kata funga. He's like, what, what, what? Brave. Pattern. Okay, Ile kubwa zana utapata na siku ubaya. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about Simu. Mm -hmm. That's okay. But this is what you have to do. This is GP, this is GPN. What are you doing? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Email. Why should I even give in the first place? Why is it Why is it private? Alright. Now, I'll tell you. We'll let all these after the show. We're going to talk about it. Your social media handles. I go by the name Dennis Bob Mine across all social media platforms. It's been real. Like you say, Doc Bernard. <laughs> been watching. All right, one, they are like, all right. Yes, yes. Uh, one meeting, one meeting, one meeting. Pastor, they are Sawa. I'm going to Facebook message. I'm going to send you a message. I'm going to send you a message. I'm going to send you a message. All right. Dennis Nyamzi. All right. Our Italian queen. Yes. What's up? What do you think about that? Well, well when you have a boyfriend, you have the pattern. Well, sina mutu, lakini. <laughs> <laughs> no, atuwezi share. <laughs> we, we cannot share. We need to give each other privacy. Relationships are based on trust. If you right. can't trust me, walk out the door. Right. Yeah, so again, Junil Biachora Giovanni across all social media platforms. One thing I can say, why... Kenyans are getting, uh, you're not, Kenyan artists are not being supported by their own. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, we have also failed as uh, listeners, as fans. Yeah. When you accept low quality, mm -hmm. trash, eh? Uki accept, una, you are setting a precedence for the artists. Right. So, Lamba Lolo, Ika hit. Uh, what do you expect uh, next? Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not mentioning names. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no, go on, go on, go on. Let her talk. I'm not mentioning uh, maybe mm -hmm. names, eh? Mm -hmm. Like in the moment trash me to and me accept me hype, you're setting precedence for the new artist. Your roots get a squad junior let your donor fame. So, Ziki could have more, but Lafum has a complaint. Oh, he na kamba, Motua pull this out. You are to blame. That's why you cannot get to a level like Banner Boy. All right, yes. Sawa, so, you've preached nice and you've oh, had you to me, Skiza. <laughs> All right, Sawa, so, thank you so much. A big shout out to you, Mash. You are tuned. A big shout out to you, Iman James. He was waiting for the show before we even started. So, a big shout out to you for always being yes. here, Janet. A big shout out to you as Happy well. Happy birthday to you. Oh. Happy, Happy birthday to you. Whose birthday is it? Happy birthday. My birthday is next week. Let me say that to tell you right now. No. Well, we have to spoil. Thank you so much. I just want to say a big shout out to everyone. A big shout out to everyone who watched the show and a big shout out to everybody who made the show. First of all, from the camera guys, the director, Timo, I see you, Faye, Yvonne, and everyone else I didn't mention. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. And we're going to see you next week with an even better show. But for now, it's goodbye and good night. And Finished is up next with Karen Jisa and Mike Itahi. Bye. Happy birthday.